Good evening everybody and it's Lynn here. It's been a hectic week. Um, so I am live streaming this on the evening of Sunday the 26th of August 2018. Obviously if you're coming in now on the live you'll know when it is but if you're watching in the replay that will actually help you to know when this was recorded. And so it it is the end of a very very busy week and um, I've had a very a fun time, I've had an exhausting time, I've been soaking wet, all sorts of things have happened and gone on in my world. Um, so I'm going to share some of those to, to you now. I'm just going to check some figures here um, that I want to share with you too. Um, so I'm just um, welcome to everybody coming in on the live now. I'm just checking some figures because I want to bring you some stats to this today. Um, and I, I haven't looked it up before I pushed the live button, you know, but that's the nature of how things go. Um, so, um, just, just looking here and whoops. Right. Sorry. Sorry, folks. I'm just refreshing my page as well. So let's, uh, I'm a bit warm. <laughs> anyway, all sorts of things going on today. I didn't do a live, my 10 o'clock live last night because last night I was out at Cow's Carnival. And uh, yesterday was a very, very manic day for me. Um, I I was running backwards and forwards. You know, I was go live granny. I, I needed to, a motorised buggy, I think, to, to get where I was going. In the morning, in um, I went down to East Cow's and I went down to East Cows for the Keezy, I think it's Keezy, not quite sure how you pronounce her, little girl who's no longer with us, but who, um, you know, uh, in whose memory uh, they set up a, a charity, and the charity is to help children to smile. Um, you know, it's just lovely that they're, what they're doing is they're collecting, making a big fundraising effort, and then they're helping disadvantaged children in Keezy's memory, and I think it's Keezy. I'm not quite sure if I if I'm pronouncing her name wrong. I am, I apologise profusely, um, and I hope somebody will correct me on that. Um, so I went. I took off down there um, on yesterday during the day. I did quite a lot of live streaming there in the day, and the live streams are all over. Wait a minute. Get. Let me give you the um, the uh, the link for where you'll find those live streams um, because. Um, it would be nice if you had a look and you shared because caring is sharing and the more we care and share, the more people will see and the more good works go on. So let's just um, drop that link in. Sorry, I've just got to find where to drop it in because I'm not on the right page. But there you go. Um, and sorry, just waiting. And I'm a bit exhausted <laughs> and I'm a bit tired um, because I have been running around. <laughs> <laughs> go live granny is weary um and go go live granny was very soggy earlier today um some of you may have seen and i'll share that one with you in a minute um let's have a look let's just i'm just the computer's being very slow and i just want to drop the link in of where you're going to find all the live streams that i've been doing um and we have some amazing stats coming through of the hi Janet nice to see you uh, I think you'll be pleased to know that I've dried out look <laughs> I am not soggy anymore last time you saw me on camera I was very very soggy but soggy but happy and um, I'm just just waiting I'm just waiting for my page to load to drop the link in as to where everybody can find all the live streams because you've been all very good and sharing the live streams and I'm going to give you some some fantastic stats in a minute um, but actually it's not wanting to load. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I had a nice hot bath. I had a nice hot, hot drink and I had a snooze. I don't mind telling you I had a snooze as well. And I refreshed and recharged. Hi Mark coming in there as well. Um, I'm just, I was just saying how, um, I had been very busy over the last 24, 48 hours, loads of live streaming, lots and lots of live streaming, lots of stats to come through. Um, so I'm just going to drop the link in so where you can find all the live streaming I've been doing. Some of you have been following. Uh, some of you have followed every live stream I've done, which is amazing. And I do appreciate every time you keep coming back. 
Um, I'm delighted to see that on my business page here, I've had 53 new likes this week, new people coming to see what we're doing over here. I'll, you know, I have moved over to the Lynn Blackledge business page. Um, it's, it's so that I can build my brand better uh, rather than just being on the personal page. But for some reason, I can't find this live stream that we're doing now because the computer's playing up. And, that <laughs> you know, these things happen, especially when you're live. Um, and so... Um, I'll have to do that in a minute. Anyway, um, yeah, so last night, some of you will have seen me out live streaming the carnival um, in the evening yesterday. But before that, I was I went down to East Cows and in, when I was in East Cows, I was live streaming the Keezy Kindness Day. As I say, this was in memory of a little girl who's no longer with us, who left us two years ago, but whose mum and a fantastic team set up a, a, a charity to help make children smile. And so maybe giving some disadvantaged children something they might not have. Also, I got to learn more about the charity. I'm very keen to learn more about it. And what was so nice was somebody from the charity reached out to me and asked me if I would go and live stream that because I really didn't know much about what was going on. But because I've become so high profile on the social, uh, um, on the live streaming front, people are now seeing me and reaching out and asking me if I would go and cover some of the events. So that was why I went to East Cows yesterday. And I was there from... Uh, quite a long part of the day I did various different live streams there were some some Irish dancers and there was I went around some of the stalls and talked to some of the stall people um, I met up with lovely Mo my lovely friend Mo and uh, my lovely friend Juliet both of whom worked really hard on helping with the votes last week I know I know many many of you did um, but um, it was lovely to meet up with them and have a cup of tea with them hi Sharon and so we had a cup of tea. We actually did a selfie of us, made sure we got pictures of us um, meeting up for a cup of tea. So it's really nice, um, you know, when I, I sort of get down to sit and chat and have cups of tea with all these lovely friends I'm making. And every day there's new friends coming into my circle and into my community, which is wonderful. Um, so as I say, I was in East Cows yesterday on down on the, on the Victoria Wreck doing loads of live streaming down there. And then... Um, my pals told me, hi, Carrie Ann, and I met lovely Carrie Ann down there on the field yesterday. Until yesterday, we were just Facebook friends. And then she um, she saw me live streaming and um, she was on the other side of the field and she said, I can see you. And so I said, where are you? And I went and met her. So we met personally yesterday for the first time. And then I met her again later on. She was in ride and I, they saw me crossing the road. And so it's really nice that, um, you know, I'm, I, hi Tristan, I'm meeting lots and lots of new people all the time. Um, first of all, meeting them on, some of them on Facebook and then actually meeting them for real. Now there's a, a, a situation yesterday. Um, you know, <laughs> I am well, Karen, and I've dried out because I was a mega soggy mess today. I'll tell you about that later. I'm going to talk about yesterday first of all because yesterday was manic I really do need to sort of motorize myself um because I you know I'm trying to get to this place and this place and this place and that's what happened yesterday so I was down in East Cows and I'm hot so I'm going to take this off I was cold earlier so I put cardigans on now I'm hot so excuse me I just take my cardigan off um so I needed to get back from East Cows. So I went from Ride to East Cows. Then I went from East Cows back to Ride because I wanted to, uh, we had five to 6,000 scooterists in town and I wanted to do some live streaming with the scooterists because I thought that would be of interest to people on the live stream. Um, and so I needed to get back to Ride and there's only one bus an hour. <laughs> Thank you, Tristan. Um, look, he's putting some stats up there. That's really, we're very, very excited about the stats. But of course, that doesn't happen without a lot of you lovely folk sharing and sharing and sharing because sharing is caring. And every time you share, more people see, the, see what's going on. So anyway, there's only one bus an hour um, from Ride to East Cows and there's only one bus an hour back from East Cows to Ride. And um, so I needed to get back and my pals knew, but but the where I was um, in on the wreck, that's the number five bus route, not the number four. The number four comes from Ride to East Cows and back again. And the number five goes from Newport to East Cows and back again. So Newport's one way and Ride's the other way. I wanted to go back to Ride, but I was on the five route. So somebody said, oh, if you get the bus stop here, the bus is coming in a minute. 
stand here right next to the wreck and you can get on the bus there and it will take you down to wait toes and the number four comes to wait toes and that will be coming in a bit later on so that's what i did hi tristan so uh, if you want to come in the broadcast let me know tristan but um otherwise i'm just going to pootle on here so i stood at the bus stop I looked for my bus pass. I could not find my bus pass. I knew it was in my bag somewhere. Don't forget, I've got lilac leather and I've got a handbag that's big and lots of things in it. So I knew I, I knew it was there somewhere, but the bus came along and I couldn't find the bus pass. And the bus, bus, the bus driver wouldn't let me on without my pass. Um, and so, do you know, in the end, I said, well, actually, you go and I'll just have to sort it. I said, what time are you coming back? Because obviously he was just going down into the town. He was going to be coming back on the other side of the road bit late it, it, shortly so it was about six minutes so I thought in six minutes I got to find this bus pass so I did find my bus pass so I found my bus pass and I crossed the road and as I crossed the road um, a lovely lady over there said I've been watching your live streams so of course time to have a selfie have to have a selfie all these people I keep meeting at the bus stop now if I'd have got on that bus and gone down to the number four stop wouldn't have met that lovely lady over there Michelle I think it was and and um I think her daughter with her there was somebody else with her and now I'm just beginning to forget because I'm tired and I'm a granny and that's what happens sometimes anyway um and I'm allowed, you know, <laughs> it's my, it's an age thing. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, so got on the bus stop, got on the bus, I, you know, had a lovely chat with Michelle um, and whoever it was with her. Sorry if I've forgotten. Um, I think her daughter. And then I had to go back up. And I had to get off Osborne House so that I could get on the number four. Thanks for all the love coming in. Number four, so that I could get absolute sharing is caring. So I could go back to ride because I wanted to go to the scooterist. Um, and so um, I got off uh, at the five at, at Osborne House and there was a seat and there was just one little space left on the end of the seat. There were some lovely people sitting there. There was about half an hour to wait for the number four bus. And um, and so I ended up chatting with these people. And one of them now has made friends with me on Facebook today. We had selfies. And then, then I kept bumping into them in ride because they were going to ride. They were going to go and look at the, see the scooters as well. And I kept bumping into them during during the day. So that was quite fun. And as I say today, Tracy, the one who lives here on the island, <laughs> love from California. Wow, we're going global again tonight. That's lovely, Dave. Nice to see you here coming in from California. Um, very soggy here. Very soggy and wet day today. Don't know what it's like in California at the moment. Anyway, so I got to, I got to ride and I, I, I live streamed the scooterists and um, I've had quite a lot of views on those on those um, videos because people are sharing. Sharing is caring. And, um, you know, it's all sorts of things pinging on my computer here. You'll have to forgive me if I keep looking because since over the weekend, 85 degrees and sunny. Oh, yeah, my son, I, yeah, I know my son's a rock star. Thank you, Dave. I, uh, I appreciate other people realising he's a rock star. Um, I am pretty proud of him. And actually, if you'll see the comments coming up, he's pretty proud of me too. And you'll see what we've got some fantastic stats coming through from all the live streaming that we've been doing. Because I am now known as hashtag go, gran, go live granny and granny goes off and goes live wherever so yesterday it was in east cows and then it was back to ride and then it was um live streaming around the um round the um all the scooterists um uh, hang on and i'm just going to put the page in where you can um oh tristan <laughs> Oh, right. So is, is Dave to do with the iographer? Right. I see the link. You're making the link there now because I have been out with my, my iographer. And, you know, people say to me, what is that gadget? I can't show you because my iographer is in front of me. And the thing is, my, my iographer is a mount to hold my iPhone. And then I have um, underneath, I have a tripod on it. What I need, I need somebody to sponsor me with a second phone so that I can... I can show you all these things. And then Tristan and I um, were talking about other gadgets because <laughs> um, grab a mirror. Oh, right. A mirror. Hang on. Can you wait, folks? I'll go and get a mirror and then you can see. Just a minute. Why didn't I think of that, Tristan? Hang on. Oh, hang on.
it's a rather large mirror, folks, and it hangs over the door. Let's see if I can do this. Whoops. It might show you too much mess in my kitchen. That might not be a very good... Oh, no, it won't, because it's the other way. Look. Hang on. Don't know if I can show you. Wait a minute. Let's see. So, this is... Look. There we are. Now you can see. Look, there's my iPhone. And my iPhone is in an iographer. That thing, that black thing around it is called an iographer. And it is the mount for holding my iPhone. And then I'm holding here underneath, I've, I've got a tripod. Look, it can either, whoops, sorry. I can either open the tripod and stand it down or I can use it to hold it when I'm live streaming like that. Okie dokie. So there we go. So my iographer, um, lots of people stop and <laughs> lots of people stop and say to me, what is that gadget? And then, of course, I also have and I have a new one. We need all sorts of things, Dave. I need. <laughs> um, so so is so I take it. Dave is, fr is the iographer man. Is that right? Uh, Tristan, I can see you linking um, because I love my iographer. I now need a little umbrella to go over my iographer because I got soaking wet today. Look, I have a little microphone that goes on here and plugs in there so that when I'm outside, the sound is much better. I was missing one. It broke. My other one broke and I had to get a new one and the sound wasn't so good. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, I'm glad we've linked up now, Dave. That's excellent. Let's just pull that shut again. So, today. So, uh, yeah, we'll go to today. I was talking about yesterday, but never mind. Today was so wet and soggy. And I've got some props here, folks. Look. Today, I went out to live stream the... Um, <laughs> I went out to live stream the ride out. We had five to 6,000 scooterists here, yes, uh, over the weekend. And on the Sunday, they do a ride out at one o'clock. And although it was absolutely teeming with rain, I was determined to get out there. Go Live Granny does not sit at home when it rains. Go Live Granny has a mission. And because, because I have a big audience growing now, um, what I do is go out whether it's raining or not but of course I was very conscious of not getting the camera wet because if the camera gets wet I won't be able to live stream so I um, to keep me dry I have this wonderful designer Mac you know no expense spared two pounds from hover travel I always carry one of these spare in case it rains um, and so that's still drying out wonderful designer you know I designer Mac <laughs> But this, this was a piece de resistance. Right, this, this is a little tarpaulin, look. And I bought this tarpaulin for the whole, no expense spared, a pound in pound land. And then I matched it with a pound for the, um, the hooks that go on it. And of course, a lot of you will know I have a, sh a shopping trolley that's also like a, a support for me when I'm walking. So there was no expense spared, two pounds, um, for a tarpaulin and these to keep hi hi Marianne hi Zara to keep my 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 trolley dry um, because although it's a bit waterproof the water would get in the side so I hooked this over there and it keeps the trolley dry but today what I did I fixed it further up on my trolley and then this is what I did I made <laughs> I made myself a little a little tent like this and I fixed this round me and I held my phone and my iographer here so that it wasn't getting wet you know I was pretty soggy everybody saw that I was absolutely soggy by this time but I was determined not to get the camera and the iographer soggy so I had to do this and do you know what I am so pleased I went out there and I got wet and I got, so I'm not pleased I got wet and soggy, but I'm pleased that I had an audience who were pleased to see me. I have dried out, yes. I've had a lovely hot bath, lovely, lovely hot, hot drink. I had a snooze as well. Um, and actually, Tristan, I don't know, have you, can you see the stats, Tristan? Because the fact that I went out in the rain uh, was one thing, but the stats are amazing 
of that. Last week I did a live stream, not in the rain, I did a live stream in the dry, in the town when we were trying to get votes in for the ride, where we were getting votes in to make, to ensure that Ride Carnival was voted the best in the country, which we did and you all helped because, you know, helping, sharing is caring, you all shared it to bits. But, and and in, in 24 hours we'd had 9,000 views to that that one last week. And then I think it went up to about eleven or twelve thousand views in in about forty eight hours or um, you know three days. But today, today you've excelled yourself. Whoever has shared, you really do care. And you know this is why I don't mind going and standing in the rain. And I can sing in the rain because it's only water in it. I go could dry out. You know I get soggy, but I dry out. But Tristan, I don't know. Can you see the stats? Um, or I'm for the for this one. Or shall I go and see if I can find them? Let me see if I can find them. So here we are. I recorded at one o'clock today. 90 people have commented on that. 176 people have shared that, that video. 8.2 thousand views. We are almost up to the same as last week. But that was a 24-hour period. So what is it now? It's half past 10. I did it at 1 o'clock. So that's nine and a, only nine and a half hours. We are at 8.2 thousand. Let me drop the link in. If you didn't see it, if you didn't see the ride out, um, this is the link we're talking about. And I am absolutely thrilled to bits. Um, there we go. We love all your live streams from De yes, Janet and her family watching from Devon on a regular basis and have been doing for a year. So there we go. Look, that um, oh, that's the page. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the whole link? I thought I'd got the whole link there from that. I don't know if I got the link from the actual. Hang on. Don't know if I got the link. Let's get the complete link for the for the video. And, and you know, with your help, we can smash the nine thousand very quickly it's been so exciting watching it today watching people coming in and commenting and of course so yes yeah, so it's uh, it's up to 8476 views so far this is absolutely amazing one of the things that i knew when i started live streaming was that there was a tremendous power in it um and you know i've been live streaming now well that the, the on the Isle of Wight page, I've been live streaming for two years. Tristan set the page up for me um, this time two years ago. Uh, wait a minute, what's that? What's Tristan? Hang on. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Tristan's putting, I think I'm, I'm making comments, but it's not me. <laughs> I'm making comments without being able to make comments. Fantastic. That's all right. <laughs> um, sorry, Tristan. Tristan is is there in the background doing things because he, you know, he he's taught me most of what I know. Um, I do learn a few things without him, but but most of what I know um, was down to Tristan. And two years ago, he set up this Isle of Wight Live page um, that we're linking to now. And um, on the on the night of the. Um, on the night of the main carnival, the main ride carnival, which happens to be this coming Thursday, um, on the night of that, I was he was here on the island with me, and and I said, uh, which page shall I go live on? I have several um, Facebook pages. I'm at, I will be closing some of them down and 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 um, bringing stuff more together so I can manage stuff better. Um, but the page was completely blank. And Tristan said, go live on the Isle of Wight live page. And I said, but there's nobody there. There's nothing there. And um, so he, I trusted him because he knows what he's doing. And I went live on that page, completely blank page. And as I went live to live stream the carnival, as it came down the high street and um, and down towards Union Street, I was that we were standing in the high street. And Tristan started moderating it, standing next to me. So he started sharing it the minute I was there. While the carnival went on, we had a thousand views to the carnival as it happened. And then, of course, it went on to have a lot more because, of course, the power is in the sharing and sharing and sharing again. So anything like this, you know, we save it. So we save it back to Facebook. I, I'm also saving everything to YouTube as well. So there's an Isle of Wight live YouTube channel. I've got to catch up with it. I am doing so many live streams. I'm having a struggle to get them all loaded up and all the information put in them, but I'm working on it. 
thank you. Haley's just putting a nice comment in there. Um, I, I was just saying, thank you, Haley. That means so much to me. She's just said, saw your live stream of scooters earlier. You do such a great job. Keep going. You put many smiles on lots of faces. And you know, I got absolutely soggy. And you know what, Haley? I didn't care because there are so many of you out there enjoying what I do that if I get wet, so what? I can come home and I can have a hot bath and I can get dry. And that's exactly what I did. I had a snooze. And then the rest of the afternoon, I've been watching those stats just rising. It is just amazing. So, you know, even while we're talking now, those stats are going up and up. Um, and, and, you know, I, I set out to show the island. Or I mean, I was I'm passionate about the island and I have a son. I have, well, I have two sons and a daughter, but Tristan, my youngest son, here in the broadcast now. Tristan, I don't know if you want to hop in with me, do you, and have a little chat, but Tristan um, has enabled me to um, to make my passion come alive. My passion is to show off the Isle of Wight. Well, one of my passions is to show off the Isle of Wight um, because I felt we were too much of a secret squirrel. We are the we our our economy is based on tourism. Most of our economy is based on tourism. We have a load of tourist businesses here who need you to come over here to come and spend your money on our beautiful island. This weekend it was absolutely amazing. Five to six thousand scooterists here, and they were spending money on our island. And because they were here. Other people were coming across for day trips and things. I met several people at several bus stops on the way. Um, busy rebuilding your social... Right, okay, so he's not going to jump in. That's a shame. But he is just there sharing things um, because actually the sharing, you know, sharing is caring. It's what we say, um, you know, all the time. <laughs> One woman tourist board. I am just so passionate about it. Um, and the thing is, so many of you are jumping on. I go out and I live, I've live streamed... All all the carnivals, um, the I haven't I didn't do Newport, Maine because I actually was on holiday with my daughter and my grandchildren um, when the Newport carnival. But I've done all the rest. Tomorrow it's St Helens carnival. I should be over in St Helens. I've got to look up and see what time buses go over there because of course I don't have a car. What I am looking for is somebody to sponsor me in a vehicle. I had um, I had a, a company um, sponsor me in, in an electric vehicle. To, um, for three months on a previous uh, at a previous at a previous time. So if anybody, any businesses out there or any different businesses who want to club together to sponsor me, obviously I could do an awful lot more than I can do. I'm pretty good at getting around on the bus, but if I if there was a vehicle, then that would be even better. Um, no, you don't need a passport to come to the island either, Karen. No, some people do think that, and of course our little island is is um, it's a diamond shaped aisle you know they do call us the diamond aisle and we have 140,000 residents and we are 26 miles one way and 14 miles the other way so we're not huge um, there is a bit of a time warp down here people feel like they go into a time warp when they come to the island hi Veronica nice to see you Veronica we've been talking about the stats of um of some of the live streams I'm doing and the one today um let's go back and see what the because the stats are climbing so fast it was the ride out today and let's see now right let's just refresh the page it was it had gone so it's nine and a half hours since I recorded and at the last count it was eight point two thousand views and hang on, it's just reloading the page, sorry, because it's actually changing all the time. Whoops, and now hang on. I need my control because my it's going to go onto auto standby if I don't, sorry. There we go. Um, so uh, six new Isle of Wight likes while you've been live. Yes, absolutely. We're getting so many people coming on and actually liking the page. In fact, Tristan said to me, oh, you haven't haven't got everybody, invited everybody to like the page. And I had, but then some more people had come on and I'd missed them because all day long, more people have been sharing that, um, sharing and liking the, the, the video that was done at one o'clock, the ride out, um, you know. So uh, as I say, standing there in the rain and getting very soggy actually really didn't matter. I, I could have easily said... That I'm going to stay at home in the dry and not bother to do the ride out. But, you know, so pleased that I did because those stats are just, well, as I say, even while I'm talking, they're going up and up and up. 
page is taking ages to load. I think I need a new computer. I think we're burning out the computers and burning <laughs> burning out my phone. My phone has had a few issues. It's got very hot with all the live streams. Last weekend when we were doing the, the vote, getting the votes in for the um for Ride Carnival to be voted the best in the country, and I was live streaming on and off all weekend. My phone did get over overheated and Tristan told me to wrap it in a tea towel, put it in with an ice block and cool it down, which is what I did. Um, so there we go. So um, Tristan has just, he's adding all sorts of things here. He, he does a lot in the background and moderates um, the page. So let's see, what have we got? 8.5, yes, when I started this broadcast, that was 8.2 thousand views to the ride out um, video it's now 8.5 90 comments and 177 shares so this is absolutely amazing but uh, you know we've been building this for two years this uh, this page and it was as i say on the ride carnival two years ago the main carnival that we i went live on this page for the first time and it really does work but it's about working with the community i see so many people out there putting their stuff out buy my stuff buy my stuff buy my stuff and actually if you build a, a community and build an audience um it really works we've done this totally organically uh, I, I think most of it organically i think i'm not quite sure just you'll correct me if we did something um right okay there we go i will uh, anybody who's looking in now and wanting um wanting to know about coming to the isle of wight tristan's putting comments up there um, I will I will answer all the comments later. There's Matt. Matt is one of the wonderful volunteers who has turned out. He's a wonderful volunteer on the Newport Carnival. We would not have carnivals going on on our island if it wasn't pe for people like Matt and all the other. Thank you, Tristan, and all the other people volunteering. We have, as I say, um, you know, last week we 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 achieved. Um, we achieved enough votes for 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 Ride Carnival to be voted the best in the country. We knew it was. We have the bragging rights now. Next week, of course, it is Ride Carnival week, um, and that's going to be amazing. Now, that's Matt. Without people like you, we wouldn't have even been able to achieve getting Ride, um, Ride Carnival to the top. Ride Carnival was the only Isle of Wight um, carnival in the, in the bidding, but actually what it did was represent all the carnivals on the island. So so Matt is part of the Newport one, uh, Matt and Helen and all that team. And then there's um, Shania and Vectis Humpty and all the Ventnor gang, and I'm missing out half the volunteers. Then there's the St. Helens um, team. Team, the cows team the shanklin team the sandown team all those people work tirelessly all year to bring those carnivals to us we don't see what goes on in the background last week you know i just i just could see that i could push that button to get that you know get the traction going and so as a as a community we came in and we smashed it you know we were 800 800 points behind on the friday some people thought that we actually um actually couldn't um we couldn't get in the lead and i knew we jolly well could i knew that if you want something badly enough you can do it so we 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 took that 800 um you know by being 800 points behind we d i just jumped on on social and live and just kept urging everybody to vote it was a whole team awesome that came together everybody shared we shared and shared and shared and shared and shared and shared and we came in 500 votes in head so although i i started the motor going couldn't have done it without the whole team of everybody and we will never know how many people got on, on board with that because it's just one of those there were so many people involved um and just you know it was just amazing to see that one and as i say today's results i mean as i'm as i'm just talking to you now um these stats are going up and up um, and, and being out there and being soggy for that ride out really didn't matter to me. Um, <laughs> yesterday, I, I did, never finished telling the story about yesterday, I went to the East Cows to do the um, the Keezy Kindness Day, back to ride to do the um, 
to do the scooteris and then out to Newport and across to Cow. So that's back this way and that way. I was going backwards and forwards. <laughs> um, and um, it was, I, I have, Tristan, I can see all the comments coming in, but I can't actually take them on board. I'll look at them all. Um, so David, I think David is the iographer man, I believe. And I'm just waving because I think he's got to go now. Uh, he's off, uh, yeah. Okay, but lovely to see you here. Thanks for coming in. And I'll catch up with you when I'm not on live. All right, David, but go and take your son swimming and have a wonderful time. And thanks for hopping in. Um, so yesterday, yes, yeah, so I was I was zooming backwards and forwards yesterday and I ended up in cows for the illuminated carnival last night. And um, I, I, I love to live stream before the carnival starts off and chat with the people. And now I'm getting to know all the all the queens on their floats and all the different people doing all the different. Um, all the different parts of the carnival um, I did I did make a boo boo last night and I did introduce the first band as the Vectis Corps of Drums don't forget it was illuminated it was dark and you know when they wear dark uniforms I got it wrong and I on the broadcast I announced it as the as the Vectis Corps of Drums and of course the first band wasn't it was the um, the White Diamonds they're all lovely people they all get it. I'm all getting to know them all better. But in the dark, it was difficult. So I boobed, you know, this this is what happens on live, you know, but you mustn't be frightened to push the button, go live. And you mustn't be frightened to put your hand up if you make a mistake like I did last night. So it was the white diamonds at the front. And then it was the Vectis Corps of Drums came later in the parade. And then uh, we also had the Ventnor Jazz Band who weren't, uh, I live streamed from the top of town. So I, what I do is I, I go on my Lynn Blackledge business page and chat to them. And then as the parade starts, I hop over to the Isle of Wight page and um, do it from there. And um, I did the top of the town. I did the, the parade at the top of the town. And then they go all around the town. So I then nipped down to the bottom of the town and caught them a second time. I, I recorded the second time as they came through the town. So you get two lots um, on the main carnival. I did it three times, but I was so tired last night. I didn't do it in the middle of the town. I just did the top and the bottom. I got a seat down at the bottom, waiting for them to come down at the bottom. And I was chatting to a lovely family there. And then during that time, when they were actually coming past, I was standing, I was had to then go and stand up and, and uh, record. And I said, oh, if anybody's about that knows me, you could bring me a chair and a cup of coffee. And lovely Lisa Longhorn messaged me and said, if I was there, I would do it. Now, she thought I was, it, I was in ride doing the, she thought it was the ride carnival. And then she was babysitting, uh, not babysitting, but sort of sitting with, oh, not, they weren't babies, older, older um, family members. And they said, no, she's in cows. And Lisa was actually baby, uh, doing, doing her sitting, you know, her child sitting in cows. And you know what? It was late last night. It was, um, what time was it? It was about half past 10, 11 o'clock by the time they'd finished. And she reached out to me and she said, would you like a lift home to ride? And oh my goodness, that was just so wonderful. Hi, Angela. So, so lovely Lisa gave me a lift home. Actually, though, she gave me a lift home, but she had to go back the other way because there was a bit of an emergency with somebody who had to go to the hospital. Um, and so her kindness I said but but you've got to come back the other way she said no no I'm not having you out in the cold after all that so wasn't that kind that was so kind of her and she ran me right all the way to my door uh, which saved me getting a bus from cows into Newport from Newport to to ride and then a 10 minute walk up the state and I was so grateful you know I got home much quicker than I would have done it probably would have been about midnight otherwise that I'd got home um, so that was really nice lots of people looking out for me lots of people were really concerned about me today because I got absolutely soaked doing that live uh, the live stream with the um with the scooters but as I say I loved it uh, it was yes absolutely Janet Janet was one of the very concerned people hoping that I would get home safely and literally I just had to I found a seat and um and Lisa lovely Lisa came and picked me up within 10 minutes wasn't that nice so anyway just going to have another quick look at the stats here and see if they've changed again on this because uh, I want, I'm waiting to see that hit 9,000 views, um, that one that I did today, because, um, glad to go, <laughs> 
Yeah, nine, nine, 12, 15 for you. No, I was so lucky, Matt, because as I say, somebody somebody who looked into the broadcast realised I was it. She thought I was in ride, and then she realised her, her, the people she was with said, no, look, she's in cows. That's cows. And she was just up the road, and she was, you know, she so she, she knew I lived in ride, and so she gave me a lift. But as I say, how kind was that? Because she then had to go back the other way to the hospital with, a, you know, somebody with an emergency. But um, I was just so thrilled. I said, no, no, if you're going to go to the hospital, you go but she wouldn't have it she wouldn't have it till she'd taken me home and I was safely back indoors and that was just so nice but I was on such a high um, you know I had run around all day I was tired but it was just amazing and what is so wonderful is seeing this community come together and get bigger and bigger every day you know I met some of these people at the bus stop I wouldn't as I say I wouldn't have met them if the bus driver hadn't hadn't let me you know hadn't said I'm not letting you on without your bus pass but I couldn't find it and if you didn't see that, you have to watch the replay. Um, every cloud has a silver lining. Whatever happens, other good things happen on the back of it. And it's just been amazing to see. But every day this community is growing. And I, I am always saying collaboration makes the magic happen. I've had so many people in my life who've seen me as competition. Oh, no, we're not going to talk to you because you're competition. There's not, you know, don't don't think of people in competition. Think of it as collaboration. When you work together, the magic happens. And we are showing that. This lovely community, all of you coming in here, are showing the magic happening. You know, we got, we got rides to the top of the voting. Um, that was magical. Everybody coming in, whether you lived on the Isle of Wight, whether you lived in California, whether you lived um, in, in the Midlands or wherever you were, or Devon, you all came together to help us do that. You're sharing all the broadcasts here now. Everybody's getting to see what goes on in this beautiful Isle of Wight. People are pinging me messages right, left and centre here. Folks, when I finish the broadcast, I will go back and look at all the all the notices coming in. It's just so difficult now we've got such a big community for me to catch up and keep up with it all. So there we go. We've gone to 8.6 thousand views of the ride out, 180 shares. 91 comments and you know i don't know if you know um, if you're trying to build a community on any of your pages when people comment on your business pages you can click on those comments and invite those people to like your page so they see more of what goes on so you know that's just a little top tip there click on them and i've been inviting new people to my page all day lots lots more people coming to the isle of wight page and and to my own business page it's just magical watching this community happen so i am so grateful to all of you who keep coming in i'm looking forward to a great weekend ahead um i not a great weekend a great week ahead uh, of course bank holiday monday tomorrow <laughs> um and tomorrow it's st helen's carnival st helen's have turned out to most i think to all of the carnivals only a small village but they come they come there and they and you know those um, those girls have turned out and their team have turned out for all the carnivals so tomorrow it's their carnival so i'm going to go there and live stream there um, I'm hoping it's a little drier than today, but if it's not, I shall just make my tent again with my with my tarpaulin. You know, here we go. I can get my tarpaulin over. Oops, it's got caught now, uh, so I can make that. But hopefully, we are going to get some system that goes on my iographer that actually is like a little umbrella over the camera, so it's not quite so difficult for me. My camera had a funny five minutes just before the ride out, and I was really concerned that i wasn't going to be able to live stream i i live streamed in the started to live stream in the car park on the hover side and i did i put that thing over my head and um and got the camera going started it i know mo was watching and then suddenly it cut off and it and the battery didn't look like it was short of battery but something happened and it went right off and I don't know what. And then, of course, I started to, I didn't panic because I never panic these days about anything. But I was thinking, oh, my goodness, I've come down here to live stream. What's going to happen? So I went inside the, the Super Bowl building and tried to have a look and see, plugged in my battery charger because I always carry a battery charger as well. You know, can't afford to run out of battery. 
and managed to push my way through the crowd because of course it was a major crowd down there today but managed to get it going again I don't know I think we're just overheating the camera I think that's probably what's happening with all the live streaming but as I say it's gone to 8.6 thousand views now 180 shares 91 comments this is just magical um, you know so when I started that live streaming two years ago on the Isle of Wight page and Tristan moderated started moderating that page I knew that we could build a community. You know, he told me this is what we did. Two years later, it's absolutely amazing. So we just want to keep building, keep sharing and let all these wonderful people across the world in on our world. Let them come and see all these things that go on on the Isle of Wight. I've heard people say, oh, there's nothing happens here on the Isle of Wight. If nothing happens on the Isle of Wight... I'm finding an awful things that are not happening, you know, all these wonderful carnivals, all these events. I mean, last week I was at the Garlic Festival. Um, there's there's Isle of Wight Day coming up. There's what else is there? There's there's so many things. This week it's um this week it's St. Helens tomorrow. Wednesday it's the children's carnival in Ride, so I shall be doing that. And then I shall be nipping over to Sandown because it's the illuminated carnival on the evening on Sandown. On Thursday evening, it's the main carnival in Ride. On Saturday evening, it's the illuminated carnival in Ride. So at least this week, I'm more on home territory. I mean, I've got to do Sandown, uh, but otherwise I'm on home territory because I live in Ride. So it won't be so difficult getting home business, you know. Um, I won't be far from home. Um, uh, but, you know, it's magical. It is, um, you know, it will be a busy carnival. And, of course, now they've got the bragging rights to say they're the best in the country. I know that one of my viewers said she was going to um, come across from the mainland. She'd looked up the five price of the the uh, passenger ferry and said, oh, I should come across and see. So that'd be really nice. It's somebody I haven't, at, I don't think I've met yet. Uh, we only know each other on Facebook. Uh, but that's just, it's just lovely. So I am very, very excited, as you can tell, very passionate about all this. I was delighted to be able to buy, uh, you know, to get my new microphone. As I say, if anybody wants to sponsor another one, I could do with the second microphone because I want to do some interviews with people. And if I have two microphones, that would be better. Now, I'm going to just read out of... Um, butterfly whispers like I do on a regular basis and I just have to remember I think it's the 26th of August oh oh and I absolutely love this I hadn't looked to see what was here but it says feel the fear and do it anyway and my goodness this is what I've been telling everybody I'm trying to get the world live streaming the power of the live stream, as you can see, the numbers of views, the people watching in. This is absolutely magical in raising the visibility of all the things. Isle of Wight visibility is going up and up and up through the live stream, uh, the carnival, anything we want to raise the visibility. It's magical with the um, with the live stream, but a lot of people are resisting it. And I can understand that because when I first started I was a bit like a rabbit in the headlights, but I actually pushed, I felt the fear and did it anyway because I knew the results were going to be good. But I am still trying to persuade lots of businesses that if they got their business on live stream, they would be ahead of the game, you know, and they think, oh, I don't want to go on camera. So I said, well, OK, if you don't want to go on camera, do you have some products? Yes. Let's live stream the products. Let's live stream you taking the products out of boxes because people love unboxing videos. Loads and loads of people watch people unboxing things. So if you don't want to go face on camera, but you do want to raise visibility, that's one way to start. Anyway, so um, I will be trying to get more people live stream. But isn't that funny? Feel the fear and do it anyway. That's what I keep telling people. Anyway, so um, this is lovely. Vanessa wrote this. My 10-year-old daughter is a bit of a worry wart, or so I thought. Yesterday we went to the water park and braved the boomerang. I told Liberty, I'll go first, darling, so I'll be at the bottom when you get there. She was so desperate to experience the ride, but I knew it was an extreme drop and wanted to be there to console her when she landed at the end. It frightened me, but to my surprise, she loved every second of it. Even though she was fearful, she didn't want to look silly in front of the others. She rode it again with much enthusiasm. It just goes to show if we do what we fear, it might not turn out too badly, and we might even enjoy the ride. Fear is false evidence appearing real. So we shouldn't let it stop us from doing what we want. Feel the fear and do it anyway. And that is what I will say to lots of you. Um, lots of you here, 
you know, uh, whatever it is, whether it's live streaming or whatever it is, just do it. We um, Tristan and I know a chap called Chocolate Johnny who's in, in Sydney. In fact, Tristan's actually met him when he lived there. And he does a lot of, a lot of um, live streaming. And he was the one who said, just get on and push the button, push the darn button. And he, uh, you know, we watch lots of videos and, and live streams of him doing it. And he is a third generation chocolatier running a lovely chocolate shop in, in, um, in, um, Australia in the in Rose Bay part of Australia, but he would live stream around his ch around his chocolate shop and making the chocolates. Then he'd live stream down on the beach, and I used to watch all of this. I just lapped it up. I loved watching into his world. And then one day Tristan went to meet him. He went into the shop, and Tristan live streamed from the shop when he was over there in Australia, um, and so that gave me a, more of an insight. Um, there's such such magical things happen with the live stream when well, hi nathan when tristan was living in australia he, he live streamed from sydney harbour bay as as the year changed as it went into new year and it was amazing i actually felt it wasn't it wasn't um facebook live he was doing it on periscope then as um you know we we still that's where we started on periscope but it was a live stream platform and I felt that I was actually there in the crowd. I didn't have to have a passport. I didn't have to pay to get across the world. I felt I was in Australia there because of the power of live stream. Um, and I watched those, uh, those and I've watched a lot of other people streaming around the world. So if you can't get out there, live stream is the next best thing. Obviously, if you can go, it's fantastic. But not, otherwise, you know, live stream is the best, you know, the next best thing. So, you know, I will continue on my quest to bring as much of the Isle of Wight to people as I can. Um, and um, I will continue to be the go live granny doing these mad things like going out in the rain while you all sit at home. But I don't mind because you actually all love it so much and I appreciate all your lovely comments. So anyway, I am going to go and... Um, have probably have a cup of tea now and uh, do a little bit of winding down before bedtime uh, i love you all lots i appreciate the fact that you come in here time and time again lots of lovely new viewers coming in to join us people i'm meeting at the bus stop people that are, are just coming in and, and looking at the videos i'm meeting so many people now at bus stops or wherever who say i've seen you on live stream you're the lady that live streams. And it's just so nice that the community is growing and growing. And we're working together and it's no such thing as competition. So Janet's saying night and I'm going to say night night because I actually don't want to be too late tonight. I want to refresh and recharge. It's going to be a very, very busy week with all the ride carnivals and the Sandown Illuminated and the St. Helens Carnival. I want to be able to keep going and not collapse. So I need to refresh and recharge and I love you all lots. And I'll see you all again soon. And don't forget, keep sharing. Sharing is caring. Bye.